Now, in view, the first thing we will look at is the web layout. When you click on the web layout, you can see that the documentation goes into the web layout format. Therefore, you will know how your documentation will look in a web layout format, whether it fits in the size of the web page or not. Next, we will view is the print layout. This is how the print layout will look. So therefore, you will know how to judge if your documentation is following the alignment of the print or not. The next thing we will look at is the toolbars. So you can see, self frame right gives you a variety of toolbars that you can put for your documentation and which can help you during your documentation process by enhancing your documentation. It allows you to put 3D settings or you can draw, you can put bullets and numberings, you can do form control or form design, form navigation, you can do formatting, you can put picture, you can even put tables, text object, hyperlink, formula, or you can even customize. For example, if you want to do a drawing for your documentation, you just click on the drawing and as you can see, your drawing toolbar will immediately appear be below your self frame right. So all you have to do is choose the kind of drawing that you want to put for your documentation, whether you want to put flowcharts or symbols, choose whichever that suits your documentation. So once you're done with your documentation, you click on this particular arrow. You can choose to either customize the toolbar or choose visibility buttons or lock the toolbar position or even close the toolbar. So if you wish to close the toolbar, just click on close and you can see that the toolbar disappears. The next thing we will look at is customize. In customize, there's so many different tabs or so many different types of customization that you can do. First is the menus. You can choose the type of menus that you want to put for your self frame right. For instance, whether you want to put file, send to, express, edit, whichever that you feel is convenient for you and it's easier for you, you can choose on it. So once you choose on it, just leave it. You can choose the content for your menus, the entries that you want to put for your menus. So many different options. You can choose which type of file format that you want to save your menus in. You can even add, click on add, you can choose what kind of add commands that you want to add into your menu content. So once you choose whichever you want, you just click on add, add and it will be added into your menu entries. The same thing goes here, you can click on new and then choose whichever menu that you want to put in. Once you've done that, click OK. Or you can choose from menu, move your menu position to whichever you want to and click OK. You can even modify, click on modify and you can see that you can add some menus, begin a group or rename or delete them. You can choose whichever you want. The next thing is keyboard. Keyboard allows you to choose the shortcut keys that you want to use or that is convenient and that's easier for you to use instead of going to the toolbars, for instance, file, menu, view. You can use the key shortcut keys to help you cut the time of your documentation process. So you can choose the shortcut keys whether you want to have all the shortcut keys in your self frame office or one particular application which is right. You want to choose an any of it, you can choose to either modify it by clicking on modify or you can choose on delete if you want to choose on delete. So next thing you look at is the functions. You can choose various functions category and the function and the keys which one. All you have to do is click on load, save or reset whichever you choose as your category and function. Next is toolbars. You can choose self frame office right toolbars. You can choose what toolbars you want, whether you want standard or customized or page preview as your toolbar. Or you can click on new, which brings you to this toolbar and you, you can give a name for the toolbar. You can save your toolbar in whichever file format you want. Once you click on OK, it will save. You can even click on toolbar to restore default cell things or to put icons only, or text only, or icons and text. So whichever you want to put as your toolbar, you can just choose it and it will set for you. Toolbar contents on the other hand is the same as your menu keys where you can choose what kind of uh, commands that you want to put in your toolbar content. Once you check the boxes, you can either add, there's a lot of categories and there's a lot of commands you can add. Once you 
cho have chosen which you want you click on add or you can even modify them you can rename de delete restore default command begin a group or change icon whichever you want to next is the events you can see that there are so many different events in it where you can either remove you can assign macro to it and then once you've done you just have to close this and your whatever you have selected in your customization will be saved in your self frame right application in this tutorial you have seen how the web web layout looks like the print layout the toolbars you can use how you can click on a toolbar and where it'll appear and how you close the toolbar and lock a toolbar